This is Willard. And these are his friends. I am here with Bruce Davison. And first, I would really like to thank you for making an appearance here at Chiller. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. Willard was one of my absolute favorite movies. How old were you when you did that? Gosh, I, I think I was about 26, 26, 27. And how did you get the part? Well, I had to go in and read just like okay. so many others. I went over to Paramount and read for Danny Mann and the producer, Mort Briskin. And I had to scream and yell, tear him up at him, and they thought that worked. So I, I then had to go out to Van Nuys uh, to a garage and meet my co-star, Ben. And they put him on my shoulder, and he started licking my ear, and they said, okay, he likes you. Wow. You got the part. Oh, my goodness. That's great. Yeah. So, you, so Ben was the only one you had to uh, have rapport with. Well, actually, there were three Bens, but this was the close-up Ben. So, he, yeah, I got to work with him. Oh, that's so great. I, you know, I didn't even think about the actual the animal scenes and how much extra that adds to an actor's load. Yeah, well, especially it was in the days before CGI, too. So, Are you squeamish at all? No, no, it wasn't a um, situation that I was pretty squeamish about. Everybody, well, of course, all the rats were sort of fat and lethargic and had a refrigerated trailer and were well fed and hosed down and clean. So, we're sort of like lab rats. So, you were the dirtiest one on the production? Uh, that's, uh, that certainly goes without saying, yes. So, how early on was that in your career? I think it was about five movies in, yeah. It's, it's hard to remember. I sort of remember that was. Olzana's raid came after that because we went in J Jerusalem file, yes. So. Did you have to bring a lot of Bruce into the Willard part? Well, always, you know. The, the Bruce nerd certainly is a big part of Willard. I mean, it sort of eventually becomes indistinguishable, just facets of your character. I'm going to fast forward to the X-Men stuff for a little bit. Okay. How did the, uh, the role of Senator Kelly come about? Well, I had worked with Brian Singer before in Apt Pupil. At one time, he was talking about a film that he was going to start, and I said, well, take me with you, and he did. He was one of the few directors that do that sort of thing, that actually walk the walk, and he's a great guy. And how is it to work with that cast? That was Yeah, not only are they sensational actors, but they're really good people, too. I mean, Ian and Patrick and Hugh and everybody, and... I see Ray Park here occasionally, too, and uh, Ray and I have been good friends over the years. How long were you in the production for the X-Men movie? I think it was about six, seven months that we were up in Van uh, Toronto shooting the first one. Uh, the second one, I was just in and out. That was in Vancouver. I'm already dead. Right, yeah, exactly. So this one has a whole lot of CGI in it. You sort of become a blob type. Could you just go over briefly in that death scene of yours where you sort of turn into a water bloated, right. heavily veined like, what were you really doing? Well, it was a lot of makeup first off, and then secondly it was a stationary camera that repeated the shot when I wasn't there, but there was a bag of water, and they sliced the bag of water over and superimposed me in and then twisted the shape and that's what happened there. And I uh, had a rubber head going through the bars. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't you then? No, He's so uh, flexible. Some of it was. It was superimposed over uh, squishy other things. And what's your favorite role that you've done of all time? Oh, God. I mean, there are so many. Uh, it's like saying, what's your favorite child? Uh, gosh, Longtime Companion, The Strawberry Statement, Willard, Short Eyes. Uh, gosh, I don't know. It goes on. Camp Hope, which is about to come out now. Oh, really? I was going to ask you about your upcoming, so yeah. tell me, please. Oh, uh, one is uh, I play a priest in a film called Camp Hope that is kind of the omen meets the tempest, I think. Uh, would be a shorthand way to describe it. And another one called La Linea, a drug trafficking film with Andy Garcia and Ray Liotta and Armand DeSante and Isai Morales. Wow. <laughs> That's a killer cast. Yeah. Do you have any any way of promoting yourself? Do you have a website or any other... Um uh, well, I, I, there's BruceDavison.com, which I have a, a, a lady that does, but I, I sort of come and go through that. So that's a good way to reach me, I guess. That's great. Thank you so much for talking All to right, us. Thank you. My pleasure. Paramount!